Hi, this is John Link with Apache Village RV Center in Hazelwood, Missouri. We've been family owned and operated here in Hazelwood since 1976. Today we're going to be looking at this beautiful 2023 Jayco Seneca Prestige 37L. Adam from Apache here on our sales team is going to be doing the demo of it. Adam, how long have you been working here? Just under 23 years now. So, loving every day of my life. Uh, <laughs> Today we're going to talk about the 37L Prestige that we have for sale. We're going to go over a bunch of stuff that Jayco is doing for us on the Prestige and what sets them apart from everybody else. We're going to start up here in the front end. We got the S2 RV chassis from Freightliner, 360 foot uh, horsepower, 800 foot pounds of torque, 6, 7 Cummins diesel. It's going to give you a lot of power, a lot of torque, get you up and down that mountain and be good to go. A few things Jayco is doing that no one else in the industry is doing. Full seamless cap. There's no seams on that front end of your cap. You look at all your older Class C's, they had seams everywhere. That's not good for the front end of a motorhome because it's going to sit there and bounce, create leaks. We don't want leaks. So therefore, we have a full seamless cap that gets married back into my sidewall here. Speaking of your sidewall, it's a vacuum bonded wall. It goes into a machine for 16 minutes under 144 tons of pressure. It glues this whole thing together. So when you go up and you start banging on sidewalls, you're not gonna sound like it's hollow or anything of that. So that's where Jayco stands apart from everybody else. Everybody else is gonna pinch roll their wall. We don't, we vacuum bond it. So it's a much stronger sidewall. On top of that, sickens paint. You look at this paint job on this thing, you step back and look at it. It's this beautiful paint that's here. You have four different colors on there, three coats of each color, coat of clear over the top of everything on this guy here. So when you step back and you look at this, it's gonna look like this 10, 12 years from now just like a regular automotive paint that's out there. When you start opening up all your baggage compartment doors, you're gonna have all carpet lining that's here. That compartment, this compartment, and this one are all connected together. These two middle ones are full pass-through all the way through to the other side. So if you're gonna go out to the races, uh, out to the track, what have you, you can throw your easy ups, put them up there. That way we don't have to worry about taking up our good usable storage down here on the bottom. I can tow all that stuff up on the top of it there. Then when we do get to the track or the campground, we can take this, lift this up. You got your TV outside. Also, it's gonna be great for movie night. You got the grandkids with you or the kids itself. Put a movie on, everybody's outside. That's what we wanna do. We wanna be outside when we're camping. Above that, you're gonna have a 20 foot Gerard awning. You're not gonna see arms coming off the side of your coach looking at this awning and worrying about hitting your head. All your supports are up there on the top of it. Then you have your LED light that's on the front of it up here, so it's not glaring back at you. It's going straight down over your sight, and everybody's nice and comfortable. Walking back this way, you're gonna have another big pass, uh, compartment here. These two compartments are gonna be ABS plastic. Why? Because there's water in them, because you got your low point water lines, and then also my gray tank, black tank, fresh tank, they're all mounted to the floor, but in case we ever had a problem with them, they're going into a plastic opposed into that carpet. That's why Jacob will change that from the rear axle back. Along the back end, you step back, you got a full molded cap. You start seeing your big diesel pushers out there. They all have these big molded caps. We're gonna have the same thing here. On the back, you're gonna have a 12,000 pound hitch. So for you race car guys out there, I can tow my uh, trailer back there with all my parts and everything and my race car in the back of it as well. All LED lights on the back end. And if you notice, they're up a lot higher. So when you are towing a car behind your motorhome, it's gonna allow the people behind your car that you're towing to see that you're actually stopping. And then you have your backup camera back there on the top of it as well. One thing on your Prestige, what you're gonna have, you're gonna have the Aqua Hot 250D. That's gonna give you your hot water and it's gonna produce your heat for your furnace. We have no propane on this motorhome. We're full electric or we use a diesel off of the Aqua Hot. We'll get into a little bit more of that when we get into the inside of the coach. 8,000 watt owning generator. So if we go off the grid, I can power everything that I need to power off of the generator and I have to worry about me lacking power of it there. 100 gallon fuel tank. Water compartment. We ordered this guy here with the Turbo Sanicon, which allows you to go through and macerate all of your waste coming out of the black tank. Take it, pumps it out to the dump station so you don't have to worry about anything there. Jayco's changed their system here. I'm gonna do everything water-wise from right here. I'm gonna winterize my camper, I'm gonna sanitize my tank, I'm gonna use my fresh tank, I'm gonna uh, use city water connection. All of that's right here, just by them four little knobs, color coordinated, and we have a diagram right here, so we don't have to remember on what we actually are doing. Like, oh hey, what do I do here? Well, here we go. You wanna go dry camping, you're ready to go. 
whole house water filtration system inside there as well. Moving along this way, you're gonna have your 50 amp power cord. Anybody that's camped, that's had a 50 amp cord, knows that this cord's not fun to play with when it's a little chilly outside. <laughs> Jake will put it on an electric reel. Rustling a boa constrictor. Yeah, that's what it is. Luckily, this has been sitting out in the sun for a little bit, so it's nice and pliable for us. But when it gets cold, I can hit the button, run it through my floor here, and retract that for us. It makes it really, really simple for us to go through and get it rolled up if we have to get out of here. These are your two pass-through storages here. One thing that Jaco's doing, you got this little black access panel that's in here. What that's gonna be for is gonna be to drain your air lines. We got a full air ride suspension in the rear. You got air lines for your air holder. So therefore I have to drain that water out just like a compressor at home. Jayco's making an access panel very easy for you to get to that. So you're not crawling underneath the motor home to do it. Up front, four six volt AGM batteries. 200 amp hours on these guys. Going through, you have your solar panel on the top that's gonna charge these batteries up. You're gonna have your generator that's gonna charge these batteries. And also when you're running your engine, it's gonna throw a trickle charge to those batteries as well. Then you have your two 12 volt batteries that are there for the actual motor. So you don't have to worry about, you know, finding different places for all your batteries. They're all in one convenient location and they're on a tray that easily slides out for us to go through and do it. Side mounted cameras, they're nice and low. They're not up high. Reason being, we all know motorcycles out there. We gotta watch for them. And what we're doing is we're watching for them here. So now I'm nice and low. I can see those guys. If I need to get over and pass someone, I'm not having to worry about anything there. DEF fill there. You got a 10 gallon tank that's there. Then underneath the cab door here, you're gonna have a plug-in. That's gonna be for your engine block preheat. Anybody knows it has a diesel, we need to keep that block of that motor nice and warm. And therefore I'm gonna do it right there so I don't have to open the hood, find the plug. I just grab my extension cord, plug it in there. I'm heating up my motor and keeping it nice and warm for us. One thing Jayco's doing also on the outside of their motor home, we're doing a one piece fiberglass roof. You get into this Cavalier motorhome, a lot of manufacturers are putting a rubber roof on it like we have on our travel trailers. There's nothing wrong with the rubber roof, but you get into this Cavalier motorhome, I want a fiberglass roof. Therefore, if I'm going down that side road and I, do, I don't see that branch overhanging, I'm not going to tear my roof. I'm going to go through, it's going to skid right down the side of it, and I don't have to worry about anything. We still need to get on the roof, check our roof seals once a year. There's still seams up there, I'm not saying change that, but the material we're using is going to be a lot stronger and more durable than your rubber roof is going to be. All right, before we head inside, I want to touch base a little things. Jayco's warranty, industry's best, two plus three year warranty. Two year covers everything from the chassis up, three years of structure, floor, walls, and roof. No one in the industry has a better warranty than a Jayco, hands down. Also, buying from a dealership like Apache Village, family owned RV dealer, been family owned since 1976. When you start talking to all the guys that work here, we've all been here for a really long time. We're a close niche group of guys here to take care of you. So when you're purchasing something of this caliber, I'm here to stand by you. Been here for 22 and a half years. I'm not going anywhere. Well, not that I know of. So let's get inside and let's start talking about some of the cool stuff that Jayco's doing on the Seneca inside. Figured I'd show this while we're doing it. So we had it all enclosed the way you'd be driving down the road. We have a full side slide out here though, so we'll get a ton more space once we open this up. And then Adam will kind of dive into uh, some of the interior features here on the Seneca. All right, Adam's gonna give us a tour of the interior of the Seneca now. All right, walking in the front door, huge coat closet for us. Power step to keep our steps out when we're going camping. Main power, so when I'm walking and I'm putting the camper away for storage, I take that, turn off, all the dead power goes away from my batteries. Inside here, you're gonna start seeing a lot of black boxes. You're gonna have light switches and everything of that sort and all that good stuff. You have a light master on and off here, which is married to our Vera Mega Touch that we have in the middle of the motorhome, which we'll get into here in a second. But it's nice because I can go through and I can turn off all of the lights in our motorhome with one button take the button, turn it back on, they all come back on. So therefore it's like, oh, we forgot to turn that light off. I can literally just hit the light, master light off. Boom, we're finished, everything's all done. Below that, you're gonna have your Xantrex. I have a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Gonna give us power for our microwave and for our TVs. So therefore I don't have to worry about anything when we're going down the road, we're not running the generator or anything of that sort. I'm going through and I'm giving the kids power. So therefore they're not like, mom, dad, are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> keeping them occupied and they're they're happy in the back end up front 
you see your big automotive windshield now. It is big, it's beautiful, it allows you to see everything out. It's gonna be great for the kids at night so when they're sleeping up here, they can look out the window. But then also for mom and dad's sake, we take the button, we lower down the shade, so therefore when it wake up, the sunrise at six o'clock in the morning, the kids aren't getting up with it. So therefore now we go through, close it, boom, everybody's ready to go. 110 outlets and USB ports on the front end for all of our tablets, phones, stuff like that. Everybody's fighting over them boxes for the power cords. Now here I have two USB ports on each side of it, storage compartments on either way as well. Then you'll have your curtain to close this off. So if we do take a, another couple, I can go through and close that off, give them privacy. Jayco will also give you covers for each window. They're inside the basement down there. You guys didn't see them earlier because I didn't pull them out. But there's covers for the side windows and for the windshield. So therefore, you don't have to use the big one. So if you want to sit there and look out the window, you can take the covers off here out of the way. Nine inch Sony, Apple and Android CarPlay. Standard on all your prestiges. Right below that, you're going to have your equalizing system. That's your hydraulic jacks for the motorhome. You get parked, you turn it on, you hit auto level and you walk away. There's no more getting blocks out or anything of that sort. We do it all from right there. Again, six speed Allison transmission. Now we're gonna have our Freightliner chassis on the inside here. The greatest and coolest thing about this whole thing is on the top up here, you got this little handle. <laughs> you got yourself an air horn. What guy has never wanted to go through and get in a truck and do the air horn? <laughs> Let's go. Also in your cab area, you have the carpet that lifts up and out if you want to. Instead of having just a full truck front end like they have in all your tractor trailers, we're gonna have all that insulation, but then we put the carpet inside here so that we're, therefore it knocks down some sound and also it's gonna knock down a lot of heat. Therefore it's gonna be a lot more comfortable for you guys keeping on the road for a longer period of time. Dinette booth, gonna fold down making the beds. Cool thing about Jayco's, everywhere we put a person in a seat in the motorhome, except the toilet, it's gonna have a seat belt. So I have two seat belts here, two here, one on each of the theater seats and up front. I can put eight adults in here with seat belts. So therefore everybody's nice and safe going down the road. Uh, car seats. So we got the little hooks there here on the back for our car seats. So therefore I can hook it and then I can take the seat belt, put it on the child safety seat. Now everybody's nice and safe going down the road. Cabinet doors here inside here, high gloss cabinet doors. We're going to do high gloss style boards. They're all pocket screwed and glued together. Jayco's going to put a little strut on the side of each cabinet door. What goes up here? Our games, our blankets, and it's always tough to try to get that stuff into these compartments trying to hold up one of these doors. Little things like that is what Jayco is going to do for us. So therefore when I go through and I open all of these, I can see what I have inside of it, but then also they're all staying up for us at that way. We'll go through and have day night shades on all of our windows. Also, all of your windows are all uh, the insulated windows. Crank these out, dual pane, so therefore it's gonna help keep the sun out, it's gonna help keep the sound out, also it's gonna help keep all that heat from coming in from the sun. We will bring our solid stone countertop from our kitchen into our actual dinette table. So therefore it gives you that look of, you know, everything's the same in here. So you don't have one color countertop here, another color here, another one in the back. And we'll get into the bathroom, same countertop that's back there. But in the kitchen, go through and put a what 12 inch by 48 inch long window it's great for mom or dad whoever the cook may be if they're standing here at the cook range you're looking out and watching the kids while they're playing microwave convection oven again we don't have any propane here so i'm cooking everything in the oven through my convection oven electric induction cooktop again electric we're no no propane at all inside here when we went to the electric induction cooktop one, it gave us more countertop space, but then two, it gave us these huge drawers down here on the bottom. All plywood drawers all the way around. It's a five-sided drawer. Three, four sides of plywood, and then you have the hard style wood front, and it's again, the high gloss glaze cabinetry that we have in here. As you notice, all your drawers, they're all full extension. So therefore, I don't have to worry about my drawer being a third of the way in underneath of my cabinet. I can get all that stuff out of there for us. Residential refrigerator comes standard on all your prestiges. Then your pantry slides out on the top and the bottom. And they finish off the wood. 
Again, little things like that where Jayco's paying attention to detail. Wherefore, you don't open up, you don't see raw plywood. We're finishing all this stuff off. So therefore, I don't have to worry about it being unfinished when I open this up to get my can goods out. Storage above your TV, big TV with your sound bar. Order them all with our fireplace. It's a 5,000 BTU fireplace. Nice nights out. When it gets a little chilly, I can turn that on and I don't have to worry about turning on the heater inside of here. Speaking of heater, let's get into that. Full porcelain tile floor. Heat blankets underneath the whole floor. So it's a heated floor. So therefore, in the middle of the night, turn the heated floor on. You don't have to worry about waking up and having your feet cold on the ground or putting slippers on. The floor is nice and heated. You have a heat pump, 6,000 BTU heat pump on your air conditioner. You got two 15,000 BTU ACs, but that air conditioner is gonna have a heat pump on it. So therefore, again, chilly night, I don't have to turn the heater on. I can use the heat pump, use my fireplace, and then use my heated floor. I'm keeping mama happy because she's nice and warm. Then turning all that stuff on, you're gonna come back here. You're gonna get into the Vera Mega Touch. All right, the great thing about this, we're gonna go into our app store. We're gonna download the Vera app. And we're gonna have everything that this does at the controls of my hand and my phone. The great thing about that is I can go outside, watch that slide out, this slide out, and the other slide out go out so I don't have to worry about me hitting my electric post or the water spigot that's out there on the back side of it. But also, yes, sometimes we get a little lackadaisical or lazy when we're going to bed and I forgot to turn off some lights so I can come in here and I can hit my button for my bedroom ceiling lights and I can turn it off. I can do it all from my phone. Again, that master switch is right here as well. I can turn off all of those lights from right here. Turn them back on, boom, ready to go. But then you can control all of your lights that are here. Control your generator, water pump, your water heater, which is your aqua hot. We're gonna take that and we're gonna control all of that stuff from inside here. You hit your thermostat. Now you're going through and you're picking and choosing what temperature you wanna put your living room or the bedroom at. Rear air conditioner, if I wanna go through and have it at 60 degrees in the bed, the living room at 70, I can, I don't have to worry about it. Basement heat, turn it on. Your basement's heated here. You're not gonna find that in a lot of coaches. We're going to go through and have that all heated for you guys. So if, we're, if you're from the Midwest like we are, it's gonna get cold in April, it's gonna get cold in September, then it's gonna be really hot in the summer. But then I can have all that stuff nice and warm and not have to worry about stuff freezing up on us. And then you have your floor heat here, which John pointed out just a second ago. But then here you have your aqua hot, your burner, that's gonna run off your diesel fuel. As Soon as you get hot water out of your faucet, you're gonna have hot water until you turn the faucet off. Same with the aqua hot on electric. Interior heat, turn it on, boom, you're ready to go. So the great thing with this is there's a lot of cool stuff on here. We can get into a lot of it, but it's all able to be controlled by your phone as well. All right, indoor bathroom. Again, just like our kitchen countertops, our table, you're gonna have a solid stone countertop in your bathroom that's the same color. Then also, if you notice, the sink's molded into that countertop. Now you don't have to worry about that water getting in between your countertop and your sink and then soaking up into the floor in the bottom. Storage down along the bottom down here, storage there, two huge medicine cabinets at the top as well. Porcelain foot flush toilet. Then we use a full one piece fiberglass tower shower. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> shower shower. shower. <laughs> <laughs> you can cut that out for sure. Full one piece molded fiberglass shower enclosure with your glass shower doors. Makes easy cleanup for us here. Then your adjustable soap dish holder and then you have the adjustable head that's up there in the top. Then also you can take the handle off and go through and rinse ourselves off. Pocket doors on our bathroom. It's nice because it doesn't take up any space. I don't have to walk past the bathroom to get into the bathroom. I can really press the button down, slide the door open, get into it, boom, we're ready to go. Bunk beds, 300 pounds on our top bunk. So Jayco standard on all single beds were 300 pounds. TVs standard on both bunks. In the near future, that will change. I hear that they're changing those out for tablet holders. So for their kids, take their tablet, we can set it there. We're ready to go. Makes it a little bit easier for the kids. All right, moving into the bedroom. Huge closet, fully adjustable shelves on all three of them. But then also, if you look in the back there, you're gonna find your water lines, electric lines. I can put a full stacked washer dryer inside of here. Take these three shelves out, 
boom, stack washer and dryer. Or some people will take the bottom one out and we'll put a combo down there so that way they still get the shelves on the top of it for that extra storage. So especially if we're going to be doing some uh, snow burden, you're going down south for the winter time, you need that storage. You can leave them up there and put a combo inside there. Speaking of storage, two more big old closets here. Hanger on the left, shelves on the right, they're adjustable. Oh wait, don't forget about your TV storage. Hide all your nice valuables back behind there, out of sight, out of mind, people don't know about it until now. Then, bed, if you notice it's in an up position. And what it is, it's called a rest and read bed. So we have a true king size bed, 72 by 80 here. Then you have this big full wall slide on our right side. When we close all that stuff up, I can't put those together. And then what happens is this bed's gonna keep that slide from coming out. So I put the bed into the up position so therefore I can have a true king size bed, but then also close my slide outs. Little things that Jayco's gonna do. They put a padded seat here. Well, Mr. Rogers does it. Sit down, take our shoes off, boom, throw them in our closet, we're ready to go. Then setting this back down, literally just a touch of a button. Hit the button and it's gonna lay it flat. But then also for the ladies that are out there, the husband snores. What do we do? We adjust our bed so we can take it, have it on a little bit of an angle, so therefore he stops snoring. Then also above that, you have a ton of storage that's up top all the way across. Then you're gonna have a reading light. You don't want the blue light, take a push hold the light, turns it white so therefore we can actually read our book at night. Push the button, turn it off, hit the button again, it's gonna go back to the blue light that's there. Cabinets on either side of the bed. Again, solid stone cabinet tops back here that are gonna be married to the countertops throughout the whole coach. So you don't have a bunch of different countertops throughout the whole inside of the motorhome. Then underneath of your bed, you lift this up. You do have extra storage on there for all the extra blankets and sheets and everything. So that way if the grandkids show up, we got places for that, all the sheets and everything to go there. I think that's about it.